You're asking you would have thought England <laughs> yeah. are in the finals of the World Cup. He went, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what makes it funnier? You don't give a if I asked you now to name an English king or queen, you would probably say Henry VIII. No, nope, I'd say Winston Churchill. Well, Winston Churchill wasn't even a king, he was prime <laughs> minister. So there you go. Yeah. <laughs>
one says it's magic. Because I'm trying to be serious. <laughs> around your house? You ever walked naked around your house? Oh, I love it. Best feeling ever, innit? Oh my You'll God. just run around and you'll just be... It. No, I love it's it. It's great, innit? Like, you'll just be walking, running, no, and you'll be hitting your ankle. I lo Bro, you're tingly. Now it's long. Hey guys, did I hear that right? Hitting his, his ankle? <laughs> yeah. yeah. See? Yeah. He yeah. only hears what he wants to hear yeah. on these intercoms, you know? Yeah. It's not like we're sitting across from each other. Yeah, yeah no, it's, it's not like that. that. Yeah. Not even in the same room. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm, really I'm in Birmingham right now. Yeah, it's yeah. fine, it's fine. Okay, yeah. well, since we're talking about nude, yeah. if you could banish one type of clothes, like bandit, like never in the face of the earth will you see that item of clothing again, what would it be? Like what style, you know what I mean? It has to be underwear. Is it? Come on, man. You wouldn't underwear? walk around commando all the time. No, what? no. Yeah, have you, what? You'd wear jeans and no... No, nah, I don't wear jeans, though. That's the thing. You see jeans and no <laughs> oxes. I've done it. Yeah, oxes is... I didn't want to do it. S scraping the tip. Didn't even want to do it. I was just in a little situ that day, yeah. and I had to just leave the oxes where they were. The most uncomfortable thing you see, in the world. You see balls and jean material? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Boy, yeah. it's horrible. Yeah. That's do you know you what get. I'd get rid of, though? I'd get rid of jeggings. I'd get rid of jorts. What is jorts? Oh, jean, jean shorts. shorts. Jean shorts. It should jean never shorts. be one ever again. Yeah. Yeah. Is that should what be illegal? Yeah, jorts. Should be illegal. Yeah, so anything, see, mine's should jeggings. Illegal. Should be illegal. So that's, that's leggings that need... are just jean material. No, I love those, though. Horrible. No, Whoa, horrible. Those are horrible. I'm telling you, you, ain't seen them properly. What, in good backs, though? Good backs bring it out. <laughs> Why do you look upset? Like, they're actually going to be banished. I, I'd get rid of a uh, string vest. <laughs> string vest? String vest, yeah. I'll be honest, you got to look down that lens and take that back. Yeah, I know. Yardie's onto you. Yeah, I know, I know. He did it. No, no, no. Ah, ha, we got you! <laughs> 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 I love it. It's we a, love it. It's, it's, a, it's a vest with strings in it. Oh, my God. Yeah, so what would you actually get rid of? Like, like really? OK. Yeah. Um... All right, then, moving on. Yeah. And time for question time. Ilias, the, the intercoms are open now. Um, we've got these new wireless ones, so you actually no, no, don't have good to... Good Wi-Fi today, good Wi-Fi. Mm. I can even finish your sentence for you. Oh, is it, yeah? Yeah, oh, is it, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's the coldest, he's the... <laughs> hey, I didn't know he was going around the street. Yeah, no, he's not... Wait, usually, wait, 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 no, no, he's not usually funny with him. Yeah, this is a new day for him. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's a new day for him. Yeah, it's a new day, day for him, it's crazy. Right, so this is the question, lads, yeah? <laughs> if we expect the unexpected, doesn't the unexpected become expected? <laughs> yeah, no, the, no, no, no. The expected can't be the unexpected. No, so the, if I expect... No, yeah, you can. No, wait. Un, but what is the unexpected? So let's say, it's okay. the expected now. Okay, no, ah, ah. So, you're driving down the road. A one-way road. Just you on the car. Yeah, see? Yeah? I need pictures. See? There we go. You're a visual guy. pictures. Paint it for me. Hear me out, hear me out. <laughs> paint right, it, cool. paint it. So you're driving down, you're driving down the road. Yep, just you on the road, let's say it's 3 a.m. No other so car you know on the like road. This, yeah, loud. normal. The last thing you'd expect is a pigeon flying in your exhaust pipe. Do you get me? But... <laughs> <laughs> it's true, that's the last yeah. thing you'd expect. That's the last thing you'd expect. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm just... <laughs> When the hell do you see a pigeon on that as well? <laughs> That's the bird. Sorry. So I get the point now. Yeah, and yeah. I kind of needed that example to understand yeah. the question more. Okay. But that is just a mad example. Okay, so let's say... So okay. carry on, break. Okay. So boom, pigeon's in the exhaust now. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll give you something else. Let's say you didn't expect that right now. You didn't yeah. prepare for the unexpected. Yeah. But let's say you start again. Same scenario. You've now prepared for a pigeon to fly in your exhaust pipe. In case it does happen, do you know what I mean? You've prepared for the unexpected. So let's say it does happen now. Mm. You've accepted... I've f***ed myself. <laughs> no. I've hurt myself. <laughs> no, yeah, it still don't make sense. I'm lost. Yeah. <laughs> it still don't make sense, because I know what you was going to say. Okay, you if you expect, expect, the expect the unexpected. You expected the unexpected. The unexpected in this situation would be the pigeon flying in your exhaust pipe. The, expected, the unexpected. Yeah, yeah, that's the unexpected. The expected but, is for me to get to my destination with no but problem. But you expected it. If you accept, wait, if you expected it, it can't be unexpected. <laughs> okay. I, I think the expected is unexpected. No, 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 no. I mean, unaccepted. No, 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 no. no unaccepted. No, no. Unexpected. No, this is where you. I don't bend, know what's going on. This is where on. you bend yourself over a barrel. This is what I'm saying. This just, this, just okay, yeah. for a sec. All right. If you expect the unexpected, that you can't say it's unexpected because you expected it. So the question was for the last time: If we expect the unexpected, does the unexpected become expected? What's the answer? Yes. 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 
All right, so the second question is, are we living or are we slowly dying? We're living. We are dying, slowly dying. I agree, slowly dying. You know when you're born, you're just going Yeah, down. bro. You're just going down from there. Bro, you're not getting, you, it's not like we, we come out of the wound ski a thousand years old and we're getting younger. Yeah. No, you deteriorate. Naturally, I think as time goes. No, no, we will die. No, we will die at some point, definitely, 100%. But that can happen at any time. You're scared of death. Yeah, right now I am. I'm proper cry about. Like, right now I am. <laughs> yeah, right cool. now I am. I right now, yeah, right, right now, now I'm scared of dying. Too. Right now, but okay. generally I'm not scared of death. Yeah, generally not. Can't know. It's inevitable. It's gonna, it's, gonna, it's gonna happen at some point. Right now, yeah. please don't let me. No, but but I think like right now we're not please we're not slowly dying. Let me go. Like it's making me feel like I've got to hold myself. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to go yet. Yeah. I'm I'm having proper fun. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a question for you guys. Yeah. Do you deteriorate in life more than you exteriorate? Exteriorate means going up, and then deteriorate means going down. Exterior, did you just make that word up? No, no. It's an actual word? Yeah, um, word. So, so, but do you mean it in terms of like... So at what or... age do you think you start dying more than living? So you know when you get to like... I don't know. 40, I think... Your back hurts. Can't answer that hurt. question. Mm. Why? Why? It might be a man, yeah? Yeah. From 1 to 30, they have a pot to piss in. 45 made 50 M. What has that got to do with anything that I just said? He's living a better life at 45 than what he was before. That's got nothing to do with living or dying, though. Yeah. I'm saying, do you think he's... Just because he has money now doesn't mean at he's going to live At what point in life do you start going downhill? Oh, yeah, yeah, I hear you, I hear you. <laughs> yep. I feel like everyone's is different then. Because I've seen old black people compared to, like, the white one the same age, but the black one looks like they're 70. Old ones looks like they're 94. You know what I mean? <laughs> You're telling me you ain't seen that? I've seen it. You ain't heard the saying, black don't crack? Yeah, it doesn't crack. Bro, old black people look nuts, you know? They look young. Yeah. Even my mum. You lot have yeah. seen my mum. What if I told you my mum's age now? You'd be like, no way, Phil. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. So I feel like I can't answer that question, Nils. And that is the end of that. As you guys know, we want to know your thoughts, so comment down below what you think to those questions. But over to Ilias um, for the stock market update. Sugar's doing an absolute madness at the moment. Oh my goodness gracious, guys. If you see the rise in sugar right now, mm. it's a joke. Okay. Flour's gone down, sugar's gone up, mm. wheat, Stayed in the middle. And, and what are we looking at? A return in investment, you know, for, for so salt? So if you put if you put four thousand grams of salt down, mm. your return will be eight thousand. Wow. Yeah. Um, any no. updates on the financial situation on the Amazon? <laughs> on the Amazon forest right now. <laughs> <laughs> on the Amazon. And you know what makes it funnier? You don't give a. <laughs> he's doing this as he's asking the question. Like, <laughs> you know, it's like I'm he's right. A circle. Yeah. It's like he's writing it down. He <laughs> <laughs> said the financial situation, situation of the Amazon. On the Amazon, yeah, crazy. So the financial situation on the Amazon right now is going down. As oh, we cut down all the trees, mm. yeah. it is mm. going down slowly. Yeah. Mm. Oh, do you think at the moment, I would say heavily invest in salt. Okay. In salt, salt right now, yeah. heavily invest. Sell all your gold. Yeah. Mm. Don't need it anymore. Yeah. Okay. The rise of gold has dropped. Mm. Okay. Invest all in salt. Okay. So salt. So, that's your answer, yeah. Salt, yep. All right, cool. What's the cumulus on that? The cumulus, oh, mm. the cloud. Yeah. The cumulus cloud right now, mm. um, the investment on that's not that, that high. No, oh, the okay, buy is cool. buying all the clouds, so. Yeah. All right, thank you so much, uh, Ilias. Send me that proposal, please. I'll send you that just, proposal. Just I, do, an... I, do, I do take 4% of uh, every uh, one gram you make. All right, cool. No worries, just, say, just send me an MO4 on the broccoli. <laughs> okay, okay, I will do that, I will do that. <laughs> you know on you the are. broccoli! <laughs> I need to fart, by the way. Let it go, three, Sing two, it. one. And time for top stories. I honestly can't believe I'm about to say this, but ladies and gentlemen, today we have been blessed because we are joined by Henry VIII. Introducing our guest, can you just say what you do and what your name is, sir? My name's David, I'm a historical reenactor and I betray Henry VIII. Sick. Oh, okay. Do you enjoy it? I oh, absolutely love it, it's a passion of mine. Is it, yeah? Oh, really? Yeah. I, I would say why Henry VIII, but yeah, I think yeah. it's because of the strong resemblance, isn't it? Um, not the, the strong resemblance. I'll take that back. <laughs> <laughs> but I've been fascinated by the Tudor period and Henry VIII since I was like in year three, so seven or eight years old. No way. How old yeah. are you now? Um, 23. No way. 23? <laughs> <laughs> it might be, it might what, what be all like, No, he just carries himself all yeah. Not look yeah, old. Yeah, oh, okay. Our yeah. Do you get what I mean? Not I the first person that. to say that. Yeah, certainly won't be the last. Yeah. Yeah. So what <laughs> you do, though? So what is, it, what, is, what is it about Henry, you know, that just makes you think, love him? I just think love that him. period in time and Henry's reign and what he did, you know, whether you agree with it or disagree with it, is just yeah. absolutely fascinating. And uh, he made some very fundamental changes, you know, that 
carried on through the course of history to get where we are today, namely the church, going from the Catholic Church to the Church of England, so we could get his divorce from Catherine of Aragon. Yeah, Some sounds, sounds... mental changes. Mm. Sounds like a great guy. But, um, <laughs> yeah, so uh, let's just now on to the nitty gritty. It sounds like a great guy. Before you get to nitty gritty. Mm. <laughs> so if, you, if you met him, what would you ask him? That's a good question. Oh, that I... is a very good question. Yeah. I'll be honest, I'm a great interviewer, but we'll get to that. No, he's <laughs> top, top three in the UK for years. Um, oh, if I met Henry the Oath, I think I'd ask him, like, why did he um, execute his wife's for start? Oh, do you know what? Do you know what, though? Oh, that lets, it, that lets me know he's a good guy, you know? Because yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking, why would you pick Henry out of everyone you could reenact? Yeah, because you I'm, get it? When I think Henry. But I like it. that you've, 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 you've asked that. So, does that, is that the one bit about that Henry that bothers you? It doesn't bother me. I know I sound bad. No, but... no, that's your opinion, bro. I'm not here it, judging it, you for real, for I'm not judging it, it doesn't bother I me am. that he executed. <laughs> 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 this is 16th century England we're talking about, and uh, Henry is a product of his time. You know, he was king, and whether the tre uh, the charges of treason for Anne Boleyn and Catherine of Aragon were trumped up um, for adultery and treason, they were still found gu uh, guilty of treason, and that was punishable by death. And oh, so is that why they got beheaded? Yeah. So Anne Boleyn, um, she was charged with adultery, um, treason, and incest. Um, oh God damn it! What a life! And then Catherine, of, um, Catherine Howard, yeah. also was charged with oh, adultery. Yeah, of course, bro. What the hell? He has to. Well, well Catherine that? Howard was a teenager when she was executed. A wall around Whoa, nineteen. Oh, crazy! Yeah. Isn't it? Henry VIII was fifty odd. Well, fifty years old. Different times, yeah. though. So yeah. I actually, shouldn't be that shocked. No, but in those it times, was... teenagers like middle age. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. With oh. how young they were dying. Bro, like, I, I think people are getting married at like 12 in them times. Am I now just making this up? No, no, you're right. Um, Henry's grandmother, she was married at the age of 12, uh, Margaret Beaufort, and she actually yes, gave grandma. birth to Henry's father, Henry VII, when she was 13 years old. Would you say he's the greatest king? Or like the goat of kings? <laughs> he's definitely, as you say, the goat of kings, because yeah. if I asked you now to name an English king or queen, you would probably say Henry VIII. No, nope, I'd say Winston Churchill. Well, Winston Churchill wasn't even a king, he was prime minister. So there you go. Uh, <laughs> confident. Tony Blair? No, Tony Blair was prime minister. Prime minister. <laughs> king Edward. I'm Colombian, I've Which got an one? excuse. All I of know. you was born here. <laughs> yeah? I was born here. Tell me the Colombian king. Chico! <laughs> That's so racist, I love it. That's brilliant. That's <laughs> so good. That's so insane. <laughs> he said the Colombian king's called Chico. Chico. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm oh. sorry. Uh, next question, sir, is who was Henry's favourite wife? Oh, see, you're asking me. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> you're asking you me. You would have thought England <laughs> yeah. are in the finals of the World Cup. He went, oh. 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 Alright, yeah. shake man. I love how much you love your stuff, you know. It's sick, bro. Yeah. It's um, sick to yeah. see him. You went, oh. Yeah. <laughs> the answer I'd give is incredibly long, but I will say the clearly, uh, the clear and obvious is Jane Seymour. Cool. Jane um, Seymour. She was the one that gave Henry his son, who would succeed him. David, Henry VIII, I want to say thank you so much. Uh, thank you for sharing your story and your passion with us. Yeah. It was nice, wasn't it, lads? Yeah, that was definitely. good. A bit different for all the three of us. No, for a second, I didn't, I didn't think I was here for a second. Oh, yeah, no, it's it, an absolute it, pleasure. Yeah, man. Oh, oh we, we, we like, yeah. right, <laughs> was day. We like you, David. Um, and I believe Ilias has a message for you guys. And yes, one final message for you guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when we next upload. And that is a wrap! <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. Ha, ha, ha.